this week's number 40 chart is Marie Hodson and Lord I'm tired we thought we'd catch up with Marie now and find out what's making her so tired <laughs> Marie Hodson thanks for joining us Hi, how are you? Really uh, good. It's the I live. I think it's age. It's age. <laughs> uh, I think we all sort of cop a bit of that at times, don't we? Oh, yeah, no, oh, yeah, for but, sure. Marie, we've listened to the song. We've played this song. I've got a question. I want to know how many different instruments are being played on that track. Um, they've got fiddle, which is intro, and then they've got Michelle Dean, fiddle steel, electric guitar, acoustic. I don't know if it's bass acoustic or not, but it's just run it. It's just, yeah, it's all the country stuff. Yeah, it's just amazing. It's like you've just got all these instruments all packed in and it's just making one big sound. It's just, it's brilliant. Yeah, it's great. They did a great job. That's fantastic. And it's really nice the way that it comes through nice and powerful. And I'm a little bit critical when we've got too much backing and we can't hear the vocalist. But whoever's done your production, congratulations to them. You can give them a bit of a shout out because we can hear everything. We can hear all the different instruments. We can hear your vocals. Just a really nice, neat job. Congratulations. Oh, well. Well, that's out to Stewie French. Oh, well, there you go. <laughs> there, there you go. You go. He's got a good ear. He has. He was fun to work with. <laughs> he would be. Now, yeah. you, because we do play a lot of Marie Hodson on here, so tell our listeners out there, um, how did you come about with this song? Where did it come from? All the sort of stuff on it. Um, it was written in the late 50s by Mel Tillis and uh, Ray Price. I listened to that version, and then I listened to a newer version, probably about six years old, of Marty Stewart, and uh, I liked what he did. He just liked sped it up a little bit, that's all. And just, I really loved They did actually have twin fiddles as well coming in on it when it, you know, on the intro. You know, when I listened to the song, I said before, we, we were going going through it again just to catch up with you and I said right then and there I said this could come straight off of the Grand Ole Opry show yeah, or the Marty Stewart show that's what the production that's what the sound is so obviously what you've done you've recaptured that feel that real American country feel of the 70s and 80s oh yeah I know and, and it's it's like and it opens up the album so it's like wow <laughs> So you're at the kitchen, you know, it makes you dance around. Well, it does me anyway. Oh, I, I don't think there's any doubt. There's a, you know, there's people out there saying there's the different sub-genres of country music, but you've got oh, it back to the roots of what a lot of people would have grown up with. It's the sort of music that my mother and grandmother were playing all the time in the 70s. I couldn't get away from it. That <laughs> and Roy Orbison. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> But it's so fresh though, and it is st still fresh today, Marie. And I know you do a lot of tribute shows and that around the place as well. This song is so fresh and it does keep people up there and it keeps them alive. And I think for the people who really do like their traditional music, it is nice to hear that as well. But it's it's fresh enough for today's music. It's modern enough. I agree. You can take like, you can take lots of old songs and um, and put them together again and you know just dust off the, you know the cobwebs and give them a new look. Get a bit of touch of the feral swing cats behind them and anything can happen, isn't it? Oh, I know. Oh, you bet. <laughs> so you've just released, uh, you've got this one now. It's been out for just a little bit now. What's yep. next on the charts for Marie Hodson? What, what are your plans for the next rest of the 12 months? Um, I've got festivals and I've also um, put in tours together to do Patsy Klein. Mm -hmm. And I'm working with another lady called Wendy Vipers. I don't know if you know her. She won a golden guitar a few years ago. She was in a band called the Sparnets. Nice. And um, she's in a, a newer family band called the Cartwheels. Oh, okay. And are you going to be bringing this show or any of Marie Hodson up, like, up to Queensland way somewhere? Uh, yes, I am. I'm working on that at the moment. So, so far, I think I'm worked. Um, leave here for hats off and then go through Grafton, Toowoomba, um, looking at Warwick, Nanango, Dalby, and then I'm working my way through to up to Harvey Bay and then Bundaberg. Oh, very nice. Well, there you go, folks. You're right here on the sunny coast. Get onto Marie Hodson's Facebook pages, websites. Find out where she's going to be because she's going to come straight past our, our front door. So make sure you grab one of the shows on the way through. So hopefully you can get something nice and close on the sunny coast as well, Marie, because we'd love to be able to come out and get our, get our audience out there to have a listen. Well, they listen to you, but they'd like to see you live as well here on the sunny coast. Yeah, so no. fingers crossed, but we'll keep an eye on your Facebook pages for all that anyway. Okay, that's awesome. Well, yeah. right. well, thank you very much for joining us, Marie. It's been a big night, so I think I'm a little bit tired. I'm only halfway through our show, but here she is right now, Marie Hudson and Oh Lord, I'm Tired.